Hey guys, this right here is the Huskylands AI camera, one of the latest products from DF Robot. So they are the same company that brought us the Latte Panda single board computer. And they have been kind enough to send me this product for review. So this device enables you to bring AI machine vision to your project in the simplest way possible. So you don't have to make your own neural network model. You don't have to make your own machine learning algorithm because everything you need is already included in the firmware in this device. And it is also compatible with most boards like Arduino, Raspberry Pi, Microbit, Latte Panda, and also Sandtronics. Now let's go and unbox this product. The Huskylands AI camera comes in this really nice matte black finish box and on the side you can see it is written an easy to use AI vision sensor. If you slide the box open, the first thing you will see is the Huskylands AI camera itself and it is placed in this empty static bag. So let's take it out and here is the Huskylands AI camera. If you pull the tab underneath, there are more items. We got the cables, the bracket to mount it to your projects, and also a set of screws. This is a four pin connector that connects to this part of the Husky lens. Along with the Husky lens, I also got this box. And inside the box, we have the Husky lens silicon case. So now let's put the case on. And this is what it looks like with the case on. So the case itself has the ears and it resembles a husky. But for now, I'll take it off out of the case. At the heart of the Husky lens is this Kendrid K210 processor. This chip is designed specifically to handle AI convolutional neural network calculations. This same chip is also used in other variety of boards and its main purpose is for AI machine vision and AI machine hearing. It is a dual core 64-bit RIX-5 processor. The camera on the Husky lens is 2 megapixels. On the left side here, you can see a TF card or an SD card slot. There are two buttons on the Husky lens. On the left side here is the learning button and on the right side is the function button. On the back of the device, you can see a 2 inch monitor. To power up the device, all you need to do is connect the micro USB cable to a power source and then it will automatically boot up and what you will see is a menu system with all the machine learning algorithms you can choose from. The first feature I want to talk about is the face recognition so I'm going to use my previous video and use it to train the Husky lens. So I'm going to select face recognition and hold the learning button and then I will play my video. While I'm holding the learning button, the Husky Lens keeps learning so that it will better understand my face. So after enough learning, it will recognize my face and then the square will turn blue. Now that it understands 
what my face looks like, it will label my face as Face ID 1. And now I can point the camera towards me and it can detect my face. Now I want the Husky Lens to learn multiple faces. So I will change the setting to allow it to detect and learn multiple faces. And now I'm going to train it so that it can learn Linus's face. It will label Linus face as face ID 1. And now I will train it to learn Billie Eilish's face. It will label her face as face ID 2. Now Elon's face and it will be face ID 3. Now I'm going to point the husky lens to the photos that it has never seen before and then it can already recognize face ID 1, 2, and 3. And then I added Dwayne Johnson's face, but it doesn't recognize his face. It only shows that it is a face, but it doesn't have an ID. The next feature is object tracking. To use this feature, put the object inside the orange box and hold the learning button. It will learn the object as I move it around. And once you have enough learning, you release the learning button and then it will be able to track the object. It can even track the object once I put it out of the frame and bring it back inside the frame. The Husky Lens can also identify 20 different objects. Here are a few examples. Another really cool feature is a line tracking which can be really useful if you want to make a line following robot. To use the line tracking feature, point the crosshair to the line and the orange box to the background color. And then it will be able to recognize the lines. It can also recognize multiple colors of lines. The Husky Lens can recognize colors as well, so now I'll allow it to learn multiple. The way it works is very similar to face recognition. So I'll just bring the pink color so that it learns the color while holding the button. And then I will do the same thing for different colors. Now, when I bring all the colored cotton balls together, it will label them as different color IDs. As you can see, they are all recognizable by the device because I have trained it to learn these colors. The last feature is tag recognition. Here I have a list of tags from the F robot and I will allow it to learn multiple tags. So when I hold the learn button, it will learn the tag just like any other feature. And then I will learn another tag. So it recognized two of the tags here. When I move it around, it will still recognize them. The last item in the menu is the settings and there are a few things you can adjust in the settings. One of them is the LED. 
that you can turn on when you are in a darker area so that the camera can see clearer. The Husky Lens AI camera comes at a 45 US dollar price tag and with all the features it offers and also the ease of use, I think it is a really good value. So if you're considering to buy one, you can click the link in the description box below. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing as I'll be making the part 2 of the Husky Lens video series where I'll be covering how to interface with the Husky Lens and then use it with an Arduino. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.